Hello and welcome to Washington Exec's video series. I'm your host, Amanda Ziede, and with me today for the second time on a video interview is retired Brigadier General Greg Tuhill, President of AppGate Federal. Thank you so much for joining me again. Thank you, Amanda. Appreciate you having me. Of course, and, and congratulations are in order because you know this time around we're here to discuss Forrester Research's recognition of AppGate as a leader among zero trust extended ecosystem providers. The recognition was recently published in the September report, The Forrester Wave, Zero Trust Extended Ecosystem Platform Providers, Q4 2020. Uh, so Greg, I wanted to ask first if you can tell our viewers a bit about what AppGate was highlighted for in terms of its zero trust strategy and approach. Well, thanks, Amanda. We're really excited about getting the recognition as being a leader in uh, the zero trust uh, platform capabilities. And we received the uh, highest scores in eight of the different categories that are out there. But you know, being an airman, I've got to just have three main points. So why were we considered a leader? Well, first of all, uh, zero trust is fundamentally all about security. And from a network security and a workload security, we work extremely well across heterogeneous environments. So we integrate and play well with other capabilities. And it doesn't matter if you're uh, on a cloud-based environment, on-prem, a mobile device, uh, our capabilities operate on any operating system, any device, any location. So network security and workload security, we score uh, extremely well. And that was critically important, uh, particularly from an automation and orchestration and manageability and usability. That's the second point. Because you know, most CIOs and CISOs don't want to rip out all their stuff and bring in, you know, forklift in uh, another product. What they want to do is, is they want to make what they have better and they want to make things redundant so they can streamline and be more effective and efficient. So um, the fact that we integrate uh, with a lot of ex great capabilities that are already out there uh, through APIs, application programming interfaces, and our security and integration is great, uh, takes advantage of the ability to integrate with what you have, to automate your security, to scale extremely fast and easy, and that automation and orchestration, manageability and usability makes it easy for the people that are using it from a user perspective, as well as the folks back in the server room. And uh, we were recognized for that because if it's really complex, it doesn't get used or it doesn't get configured right. If it's really hard to use, people don't use it. So. Um, we made sure that our capabilities were able to integrate and were easy to use and simple to uh, maintain. And then the third was all about vision and strategy. And one of the things that we've been doing uh, as a company, and I've talked on this platform and many others, is it's time to start retiring some of that old, tired technology. Because let's face it, zero trust is based on three things, if you take uh, the Cloud Security Alliance model. One is, is it has to be identity centric. You should never give access to your information unless you're authorized to see it. Uh, so having an identity centric approach and having live entitlements because, you know, for example, if I'm a contractor and my duty hours are from eight to five, I should not be coming in at eight o'clock at night. And that should be continually checking to make sure that those identity-centric attributes are maintained throughout the whole life cycle. You're never, you're never turned off. Yeah. So you wanna make sure that you're continually checking and you have dynamic access. And then finally, uh, you want that segment of one such that I don't have man in the middle attacks. I'm encrypted with a, a FIPS 140-2 type of encryption that I can only see what I'm authorized to see and nothing else. And with older technologies like VPNs, you know, I poke a hole in my intrusion detection, I poke a hole into my environment, but then I can look around, see everything, and then move laterally. That, that's been around since Derek Jeter was a rookie in 1996, and it's time to retire VPNs, NAC, and some of the older technology, make security simpler. Mm -hmm. And uh, that helps uh, our customer base out there and force to recognize us as being amongst the best in the business. 
Wonderful. And what does that recognition mean for you in your career? What does it mean to be a leader in your business? Well, you know, frankly, it, it's a recognition of a, a lot of different things. First of all, great uh, energy, vision, creativity, and innovation by my peers at AppGate. And our customers are seeing some great benefits from the fact that this type of recognition is recognizing the, the great work that they're doing, too, from the customers that we have. And you know, frankly, they're seeing that uh, from a performance standpoint, their performance is going up, and that uh, was recognized in the report as well. You know, we're able to provide eight gigs of speed, which is like widening 66 uh, eastbound and westbound to 50 lanes as opposed to, you know, six lanes. Uh, and it's extremely simple. Um, you know, for example, uh, a technician that's uh, looking at zero trust and wants to implement it uh, across their enterprise, with AppGate, they can get certified within less than a week of training as, compo as opposed to others that take months or weeks uh, of training. And then further, um, we're, we're highly efficient. I mentioned uh, simplicity, but also being able to retire those VPN snacks and other older technologies. Our, our, we were recognized for uh, the effectiveness and efficiency where we're seeing our customers saving about 50 to 70 percent of their O&M costs by implementing zero trust and uh, using AppGate. And then finally, I mentioned interoperability. We got some heavy doses of uh, kudos for our ability to integrate across lots of different platforms and, and kind of like the old BASF commercial. You know, we didn't invent that kind of technology, but we're making it operate even better. So we can work with SIMs and firewalls, identi different identity systems. Uh, so it doesn't matter if you're CAC, PIV, YubiKey, uh, Duo, Octoping, we interact, interoperate with all of them. Wonderful. And before we sign off, I want to ask if you can reiterate for our viewers, why, why uh, is Zero Trust Security Strategy an approach why is it necessary for an organization? Why is that the gold standard? Well, and that's an outstanding question. And frankly, we've always wanted to have a zero trust security capability mm -hmm. because we didn't necessarily trust anybody on the outside. And that perimeter security model that we've had since Alexander the Great and Sun Tzu were you know, still active duty officers in their armies. You know, for thousands of years, we've built these big castle moats and high walls and the like, and still folks would figure out a way to get uh, through and around uh, those high walls. And we introduced technologies about 10 years ago that basically shattered those walls, mobile devices, cloud computing, and the like. So the reason you want zero trust is not only do you not trust folks on the outside, but you really can't trust folks on the inside. And when you are operating with your data everywhere in hybrid clouds, on mobile devices, bring your own device, work from home, zero trust is the security strategy of the 21st century. And perimeter defense was the security strategy of the 20th century and back. So. Today's modern enterprise, today's mo uh, massive work from home calls for zero trust so that you only have access to the information you need and nothing else. Mm -hmm. And that makes you more effective, efficient, and secure. Right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. It was great catching up with you. And congratulations again to you and the AppGate team. Yeah, thanks so much, Amanda. It's great seeing you again, too. Take care.